talking about the offset riser mount. I think it looked pretty foreign to me and a bunch of uh, other guys in the military when it first came out, um, but it's what we were doing anyway. Um, especially for shooting through night vision, we weren't shooting through optics anyway. Um, that was never a thing. Um, it's possible with this. Um, I don't think it's the best thing. I like this for daytime shooting because it gives me a heads up attitude. It corrects body posture um, and everything else. If um, if you remember back to, uh, see my memory serves me right, uh, October 3rd, um, 93, Black Hawk Down. They were running car 15s, but they had, um, they had a carrying handle, the iron sights, with aim points mounted on top of them. That's about the same eye line, but it puts their head into a head-up attitude. It's much easier for me to look through this optic, see Cole, see the door, see everybody around me, that if I drop down super low to the bore and I look through it, I can barely see Cole, I can't see the door, I can't see anything behind me, and I see nothing over my eyebrows. And it takes longer. And it takes longer. If my head's already up here, it already puts me in a positive thing. A lot of people base their tactics and everything on body armor, but not their shooting stance. Think about my body armor and think about me leaning forward and exposing this angle to you, shooting like this. Vice if I stand up and now I'm giving you, essentially I'm presenting the plates in an actual fashion. A lot of guys will argue we need uh, buttstock risers, um, we been working on some stuff, LaRue's got one. I know the issue is charging handle because a bunch of guys run their um, their butt stocks completely collapsed and now they can't cycle the thing. I would argue, um, I don't know how big you are or small you are to run a gun like this. Um, but if you extend your butt stock, it's fine. <laughs> Just look how uncomfortable I look trying to shoot this thing. Like, I feel like a victim, I do. I feel like a victim until I extend it, until now I use this full capability. Um, more points of contact, like it, it makes me feel more secure in this platform because I can hold it like it's designed to be held. We've all seen those guys that run around and do CQB like this. You're not managing anything like that. Extend your butt so I can get a positive purchase on the rifle. Um, in this heads up display, this cheek weld, in our opinion, it's a thing of the past. I don't, I don't need a hard cheek weld because I'm not taking precision shots. It's a combat platform. It's made for CQB. That's what we're running and gunning for. Um, the cheek weld thing is not a, not a huge concern of mine. I mean, we've been running these things forever, but <sighs> no buttstock riser, um, and I love it. I'm keeping my head up to look at you, and I'm snapping it into my eye line. I'm securing it onto my collarbone, and I can see my red dot. I don't have to drop down and do one of these weird head release things. I can leave it on my eye line and drive it out, and it's there. And then we can take shots. I don't have to swing my head over. I shouldn't. At least that's how we. That's what we teach now. If I leave my head fixed and I stare right at that board and I drive it out of my eye line and seat it, the red dot meets my eye. I don't search for the red dot. This allows me to have that. But it allows me to see everything, like my spatial awareness. It allows me to be more aware. So to me, the elevated mount's a, to me, it's a game changer.